Hey guys. guys! Welcome to the Summer Movie Kitchen. Today we will cook a side item from the Sonic Cookbook. And the item we're gonna cook is timeless comfort food, which is silver special side item. Um, each one of us will have a job in the kitchen. Mine is the first stove runner, and I'll be cooking the sauce. Mine is the uh, second stove runner. I'll be doing more like the pasta side of things. And I'm the mixer. I mix ingredients together. I'm the cheesier. I'm cheesy. My job is to add all three kind of cheese to this dish. Let's get cooking! Let's wash our hands before yes. cooking yeah. in the kitchen. I know it's Let's right. wash. Full size. We know the grill. Okay, here is the ingredients for timeless comfort food. Alrighty, take it away. First thing is one third cup of all purpose flour. One teaspoon of onion powder. One teaspoon of garlic powder. Half teaspoon of nutmeg. Half cup of unsalted butter. Two cups of milk. A half pound of white cheddar cheese, shredded. Half pound of Fedona cheese, shredded. One fourth pound of Gouda, shredded. Kosher salt, ground black pepper, and then 16 ounces of penny cooked pasta. Awesome. And of course, we'll need one cup reserved pasta water, but once we cook the noodles, we'll save the pasta water. All right, are you guys ready to make this pasta side dish? Yep. Yeah. All right, let's, let's cook. Cooking. One third cup of flour, all purpose. So I got like, I got like eight to ten cups of water in my pot, three fourths of just the way, and I'm just going to boil. Well, uh, it's a fourth of a pound, so one teaspoon. Okay, you don't work in the middle. I'm struggling. I'll give you something to do. Alexis, who is Terry? What? I lost my left leg and I was a Canadian athlete. I don't know how there that works, go. I'm only 16. So from 1980 to my present day. It sounds about right. The map doesn't add up though. <laughs> oh, I can get you. Oh, that's, still, that's good, thank you. Alexa, stop. Alexa, shut up. How much nutmeg? One and a half teeth. Let's see the way I get mine that lesson. My Alexa's my friend now. Yeah. Yeah. Just ask her. Thank you, Kim. Ask her if she's your friend. She says no. <laughs> Tells me you're a real friend. Ooh. Uh, let's see. A half, a half cup unsalted butter. I don't need that yet. Keep the butter in a medium saucepan. This is for people sauce. Whenever he's ready for uh, that. Two cups of Keep the butter in a medium saucepan over medium high heat. Once melted, we can add in this How mixture. Much? And then it's gonna get melted in your saucepan. Okay. How do you do that? Yeah, which one you looking? So one way back. So this one's high, so I don't know what. There we go. So the more left you have it, the warmer it's gonna be. Is it medium high? Medium high. Okay. okay. So this is medium. Yep. Got you. That ain't gonna take long. No, it's butter. Once that's done, you add that in. Harry, let's hear it. I gotta get my nerd voice. <coughs> yeah, 
When it's cold out or when the rain pours or even when I'm feeling just down, I like to, to make a pot of this. It's warm from the way it fills me up, makes me feel comfortable and at peace. When eating this, I feel content to think, yeah, it's gonna be okay. Yay, good job, Terry. That was good very job, good. Good job, Terry, yeah. That's Silver's dish. Timeless comfort food. Oh, yeah. It's not like a good one for that. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I'm gonna mix this yeah. in now. Can you see the better? Yeah. Once those are combined, then you fully mix with skin the milk. Yeah, it's fine. No, wait. Wait until the, until the butter, the flour gets combined. Sorry. Okay, then slowly put it in. Yep, slowly. Mix it in. You want your skin? What do you want? Put it. I'll take it. Looks like oatmeal. There you go. Mix just for a little while, and then Kim will come in and add the cheese. Okay. Does that get uh, whisk in too? Yeah. So Kim is going to start pouring one cheese over at a time. Bring yeah. it over. You can dump it in. How right. much goes in? The whole. The whole. Thing. Okay, a little bit at a time, right? Or the whole thing? Whole thing. Okay. Put her in that. Always keep those things. Oh, get it Ooh, if it gets too thick, we add in more pasta water. We add in pasta water. You gotta let it melt a little bit here. Go ahead and put your <laughs> And then you can put some of that in there. This is currently, oh wow, the whole bag, huh? This is currently a half a cup of pasta water. Okay. You need another half of that. I'm good right now. In the drawer next to the bus. This pan is crispy. I'm ready. I think we should just do it. Do what? The sauce in with the. Well, we have to dump the pasta water. But, uh, you can leave some in there. <laughs> cold water, cold water, cold water. No, 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 don't. It's, it's, you can grab it. No, I want you to burn your hand. Okay. Just like shake it you up. You can put that pot back over there. Should we add a little milk to that? Okay, we want to shake the... Just grab this and shake it. Shake it. Yeah. Shake it like crazy. No, like flip it. There you go. Nice. You get, think we could add a little milk to this? A little what? A little milk to it. Oh, I think it's fine. It's kind of... Well, as it gets with the noodles, it will... It's thick. Might need to be a little looser, I don't know. <laughs> uh, uh, no. No? No? Yeah, you like that? You like that? You like combined with the noodles. Yeah. You put too much... It'll just be nice and cheesy. Up. That's true. Ooh. It is going to be cheesy, that's for sure. Oh. Mm. That. Okay. That's why I do stories. <laughs> do I turn this I off? Do yeah. Turn the burner off. <laughs> Put it in. Cat. Terry? Terry, should we do it? Dump it. Good luck stirring that. No, good luck cleaning, <laughs> good luck cleaning this. No. Are you ready? We got the cheese combined in with the noodles. It's good. Not so bad. Terry is mixing it as best as he can. It's really cheesy. It's a little thick. It's more on the thick side, but that's okay. That's what they put a lot of pop. That's why I said we should add a little milk. We can melt with you. We mess with the flavor.
Alrighty guys, here's our lovely dish, a Timeless Comfort Foods Silver Special Pasta. Our cheese was a little thick, but I think it will work out just fine. So, oh, yeah. are you guys ready to dig in? <laughs> Sauce we'll looks, see if this is going to be any good. Sauce looks great. I taste much. great. Uh -huh. yeah. Ready? Dig in. I'm putting a little garlic salt on, because I like garlic. Yeah, I think I need to. Oh, damn! I do. Don't know. That's the whole thing on it. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna put a little on, too. Oh, jeez! <laughs> that comes out fast. No, I, I, think yeah. I, need, I think I need some, too. You know? It comes out fast. Ah! <laughs> okay. <laughs> Garlic definitely helps. Gotta mm -hmm. give it some more flavor. Because honestly, by itself, it doesn't have any flavor, but it's salt and pepper or garlic, it adds flavor. Oh, gosh, yes. Some pretty good stuff. I just think the chia sauce is a little too thick. I think it's okay. <clears throat> it think... might be a little bit, but not much. But it works out fine. I think it should be that. Does it stay like that? Oh yeah, there's this kind of, because it's staying on the new, on the pasta. Oh yeah. You can look, it's staying on the pasta. Yeah. It's pretty good whenever you guys are ready to rate. I guess actually I can start, because usually we start with pipa. I regret putting on the garlic salt now. Mm -hmm. It's too much. Really garlic. Yeah, I must Damn, have. are you done with the garlic over there? All good. Yeah, it's gonna be really garlic. So red. <laughs> From all that garlic. <laughs> Alright guys, um, I'll start with the ratings. I rate this dish a 7 out of 10. Um, I just feel like the cheese sauce is a little too thick. It's kind of lacking flavor, I think. It doesn't really have a lot of flavor unless you add your own flavors to it. With all that garlic. But, um, otherwise, yeah, it's not bad. I think it's pretty decent. You can be. Uh, Give it a six. Should have lacked flavor mm -hmm. beforehand. That's like my one thing. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, it's pretty good overall. Yep. Um, I'll give it like a seven. Oh, dad. The flavor, the flavor's good. Get all the thick cheese. It's kind of reminds of the Alfredo Alfredo sauce. Okay. Yeah. And put I I got it on too much garlic. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm on there with you. Put a lot on my but it's open. Yeah, I'm gonna do uh, seven two. Um, it does it doesn't have a real bite to it or anything? It's pretty blunt, but it still has a little bit of a taste to it. That's just enough for a pasta. But I was wondering if they could use a different type of noodle than the one that we use. So other than that, I'd say seven. Awesome. Yep. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video of Sir Movie in the Kitchen. Uh, we've been making some pretty good recipes, some good, some not as good. But overall, it's been a good time here. The four amigos enjoy cooking in the kitchen. Oh yeah. Oh, Ooh. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> Anyways. Uh, don't forget to subscribe, it helps out um, us a whole bunch, uh, we really appreciate it, and yeah, thank you guys so much, and we'll see you guys in the next summer movie video. Bye, Bye guys. guys! Ciao! Ciao! Ciao.